Did you pray today? Did you pray today? I can dick it down. No Viral on TikTok and changed to knock off Cardi B's life. If there's one thing these two women have in common, is that they cannot be trusted around food or drinks. In all seriousness, the pink sauce went crazy, people wanted to taste it, so Chef P started manufacturing it in her kitchen at home, she started shipping it out all over the country, and it was exploding on the way to people's house. Be honest! Did you have some? And, and you could, and, and the, oh, I'm huge. Oh my god. L streamer. Okay, you didn't miss anything but B-roll. Hey, um, be honest with me. Did you have any? We could be honest. Houses. There were also other quality control issues like changes in the color of this sauce. Of course, she also had the very embarrassing moments on that talk show where a TikTok critic took her and a knockoff Charlemagne the God two versus one and came Charlemagne. out victorious. Charlemagne. So at that point, it was looking grim for the young Cardi, but eventually she got rescued by a man named Dave who has his own line of gourmet sauces. And so he took over the entire pink sauce product, even giving it shelf space in Walmart stores all around the country. What? And so for the past several months, there had really been no update within this pink sauce saga. It seemed like she was gonna ride that pink sauce right into the sunset and live the rest of her life as a very wealthy woman. I mean, she thought she was gonna be the next sweet baby Ray's. Well guys, we now do have an update and okay. things are not looking good for our pink haired foe. Pink Sauce creator starts GoFundMe after going completely broke. Bro, how the fuck do you enter Walmart and end up broke? How do you get in a Walmart? Like, you know how hard it is to get in Walmart? Pink Sauce creator, real name Veronica Shaw, has started a GoFundMe it's never good when the article starts like that, saying that she's completely broke and was financially sabotaged <laughs> by our guy Dave. You know, back when the information Whoa, first what? came out that she was going to be in Walmart stores all around the country, I thought our boy Dave was maybe just trying to get some action on the side. Apparently our guy Dave was acting as more of a business shark. He smelled blood in the water. He saw this woman was very naive. Mm, that's good. So they say Shaw quickly saw the opportunity. Hey, Finding Nemo single-handedly put the fear of sharks into billions of people. Isn't it so crazy how power powerful movies are? It's nuts, bro. Like, and Lion King single-handedly put the fear of hyenas in billions of people. And to this day, niggas are afraid of hyenas and sharks. I watched a video from Mark Rober six months ago. The nigga literally put human blood in the water where sharks are. They did not bite. Sharks are not these animals that people pretend they still kill people from time to time, but not the way Finding Nemo described it. Nah, dead ass though. Real shit though. It's all propaganda. To take her product to the next level and start selling the sauce out of her home. This was a move highly criticized by customers and me alike, some of who complained their sauce yeah. had spoiled in the summer heat, among other issues. Nasty. Despite the controversy surrounding pink sauce, Dave's Jaws? Gourmet soon oh, picked up the viral dressing right. later that year and Jaws. found itself on shelves and retailers right. at Walmart. And for those of you that don't remember, around the time it was announced it was going to be in Walmart, this woman, Chef P, was trying to flex on all the haters. However, this move didn't seem to pay off for Shaw, who recently started a GoFundMe page saying that she's financially destitute after partnering with Dave's Gourmet. And here we are actually on the donation page. Help get... Bro, she raised 25 bands? Justice for the pink sauce. $25,000 raised of a $100,000 goal. And at first, guys, I was wondering how the hell did she raise $25,000? That's what I'm thinking. But then I see this man, Kyrie Irving of all people, swung in like Spider-Man on his web to try and save the day and donated $24,000. Bro, what? <laughs> $240 what to this the woman. Fuck? Don't get me wrong, guys. I love Kyrie Irving as a basketball player, but he does seem like the type of guy who would believe absolutely any conspiracy, absolutely any lie. I mean, this is the same dude who thought that the earth was flat. She says, hi, my name is Veronica Shaw. I'm All right, let's not clown Kyrie like this nigga's dumb, bro. We're not doing that over here, okay? Right, bro. I'm the founder of Pink Sauce LLC, one of the most viral sauce sensations of 2022. As a young entrepreneur with big dreams, I followed my intuition and went forth toward my dreams to create something Josh new. Calling? I made a few mistakes along the way. Okay, hold on. Yeah, some I'll join it in a few minutes. To the hospital, which led me to trust a company that is trying to take everything away from me. 
I have been silenced and financially sabotaged. I am a single mom and I do everything for my kids. Right now, I don't even have enough money to buy my kids food on my own. My mom is on disability and has been giving us about $20 just to get by on a daily basis. School is a few days away. I haven't been able to get my kids clothes or anything. I'm currently facing an eviction that has gone into default. The sheriffs can come to my door any day now. I need legal help. They are refusing to pay me the royalty that is owed to me. I don't know what else to do. I can't give up. I need help. And listen, guys, I don't know if the pink That's sauce lady sad, knows this information, but there is this amazing thing out there called a job app. Bro, what? Application. And I don't even have any kids, but I know damn well if I did, and we were to a point where I couldn't even feed them, that this man is likely telling the truth. She does seem to be a bit of a flexor, so I wouldn't be surprised if she blew right through that money. So Dave's Gourmet says it disagrees with Whoa, Shaw's what? version of events. They also claim they stuck to the terms of their agreement and say they've paid the Pink Sauce creator over $120,000. It sounds like she just signed a bad deal, though. Which doesn't make the bad... I don't know, bro. Like, my business is ruthless, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Most of the time, you know what's sad, bro? Niggas don't have sympathy for nobody when it comes to business unless y'all fuck with him, bro. Like, if you fuck... With Megan Thee Stallion, you're going to be upset about that whole fiasco with her record label. But if you don't like her, or you don't care for her really, or you're indifferent, then you're going to be like, well, she signed a bad deal. Like, it's her fault. Because she signed a bad deal. I don't know. It's so funny how people pick and choose, like, it's, it's the same thing. And at this point, it just sounds like she like, didn't have that much leverage when she signed. This guy who has already had several successful <laughs> businesses, who would definitely not want to wreck his reputation within this field. Okay, whatever. She's broke, basically. Got it. All right, locked in. Okay, let me talk to her. She's broke. I understand now. She's broke and she probably spent dumb money, okay? And she's probably um, need, gonna need to figure out how to make her business profitable instead of getting donations. Because the donations will not make her business profitable. A good business plan will. Alrighty. She got 25 bands. She's not broke. I'm not gonna lie, Chad. Some people just have... Like, real, this is real shit, chat. Like, I'll be honest, there's some niggas that actually are in bad situations, right? And there's other people that put themselves in bad situations by not knowing how to spend. Financial literacy is non-existent, bro. Okay? People don't know how to spend. People are, people are completely allergic to budgeting, bro. I'm just saying, bro. So you also have to be smart about how the fuck you spend your money. Feel me? You can, you can receive a $100 million investment today. And... Most people are going to start buying helicopters, cars, homes, wild, like expensive shit. And then the niggas that actually, that actually make money, they're going to start figuring out how to use, allocate this money to make themselves $200 million. The